y'all it's Heather and I'm so excited because we're gonna get ready together today and create this makeup look using tons of products that are on sale during Amazon Prime days new products some old products some things I've recently bought some things I've had for years I'm just excited about it let's jump to me makeup free I've got you nice and zoomed in so you can see everything about the application and I do have my skincare on already. The vitamin C serum I have on is not from Amazon so I will put it in the description box but I do have on the Tear Tear Milk and the Dalba First Serum Spray. So my skin is glowy and we're going to prime with a glowy primer. This is the Catrice Soft Glam Filter Fluid and this is going to give me even more glow under my foundation. So I'm just going to put on kind of a a little bit this is really glowy I'm just pressing that Catrice into my skin with my BK Beauty Angie hot and flashy brush we're gonna use the tear tear foundation I love this foundation so much y'all like I seriously wear this so often it's really really beautiful if you watched my video on this foundation I did a wear test everything like that the shade I got was too light so I'm passing that on to my mom and I bought a shade that is my correct color and I don't like to apply with the sponge I like to use my brush so I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 101 foundation brush I actually ordered a few more tier tier skincare products because I like that ceramic milk so much <laughs> it's really really good so I wanted to try a couple of their other things that'll definitely be in my weekly haul that I'll post on Friday I love the BK Beauty brushes they're a woman owned brand an independently owned brand I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Maybelline Superstay concealer I really like the formula of this it's a good medium coverage concealer it lasts all day it doesn't settle weird and it's a very thin formula so if you like concealers that are more like watery or watery serum like you would probably really like this one and it is long wear it says up to 30 hour wear I've never tested that but I do find it to be long wearing since this shade is lighter than my skin tone I am like putting it kind of all in the center of my face a little bit on my chin above my cupid's bow right in the center of my forehead to give me kind of that highlighted effect it's not way lighter than my skin tone but just just a little bit enough that I want to make sure I'm evened out now I've got a couple of new products to try so for liquid blush we're going to try this Revlon gel serum blush I got these a while ago and I saw that they were on sale for prom day so I thought why not try them I'm a little nervous because <laughs> these do say that they're illuminates like serum blush and I'm scared that they'll be too dewy for my oily skin because even with some liquid and cream blushes when I go on top with like a powder to set they just never really stop being like sticky tacky and I can't handle that especially living in the humidity so we're gonna see I'm gonna blend it in with my 109 brush from BK Beauty also included in the sale and I'm just gonna kind of like press it on I'm gonna start by putting it underneath my powders because I really need to wear this makeup look the rest of the day and since I'm trying it for the first time it's usually just best if I put like all my liquids and creams down and then go in with my powders not so sure about that one I do feel like it kind of moved the foundation around because around the edge of the blush it doesn't look as blended and seamless that's okay let me grab the foundation brush again so I'm just gonna kind of tap around the perimeter of the blush with my foundation brush and make sure everything is blended okay that is a lot better I think a lot better of a blend we're gonna set with my kimchi chic setting powder I like this powder a lot I think it's so nice and it's under $20 which is also really nice this is the banana shade so it's gonna give me some brightening and you see it's a light I really like it I'm gonna just use this to set the center of my face where we put the concealer I'm gonna quickly fill my brows with my Juvia's Place brow pencil Amazon doesn't have everything Juvia's Place but they do have quite a few things and they are having a sale on this I just follow the natural shape of my brows kind of outline them and fill them in I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Bid Nye powder to mattify and lock everything into place and I'm gonna use my Sigma F 
30 brush to do that. I know that this is also included in the Prime Day sale. And of course, I will link everything down below. I'll link my Amazon storefront. I'll have everything there. If that is convenient to you and you want to use my link, they'll be in the description box and in a pinned comment. I'm just taking this powder and really just kind of setting everywhere that I didn't put the concealer, everywhere that I don't want to brighten. Let's bronze up our face. I'm going to use my Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo in the shade Tan. And you can see I've had this for a while. <laughs> I've had this for a while. I really enjoy it. And I'm going to use my Sigma F12. I just love that I can mix the two, which is like what I'm doing now, of course. I love that I can just use the lighter shade if I need that. I can add in the deeper shade to kind of customize my color. I don't, I really like the bronzer duo from Juvia's Place. The blush duos are great too, but the bronzer duo, I just love having the option to deepen or lighten my bronzer if I need to. I bought this Ardell brow lamination glue setter kit thing, whatever this is from Amazon. Instant lamination lift and styling tool brow glue. There we go. That's a mouthful of a name and I just want to try it and see. It does come with like this little tool. I don't know if this is useful. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll use it. Maybe I won't, but it comes out of the applicator like this. And I'm gonna just brush it through, try to make sure I get all my brow hairs coated, especially right here in the front. I wanna make sure I bring them like up, 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 because now that my brows are filled in, I wanna make sure that the hair stays where I want them to be. Okay, I think I have the hair coated. So let me take this side and just kind of push them down. Maybe I can just kind of like lay them into place. It feels like they're held down, but I'm gonna give it, give it a little bit to dry and see like how it does. And of course time will tell if this really lasts in my brows or if, you know, halfway through my day, I lose hold. Time will definitely tell on this one. I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Ignite eyeshadow primer, of course, but we are gonna use an older palette today, but a beautiful palette. This is Sigma in their collaboration with Diana Saldana. I'll of course link her channel. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Very glam very like romantic vibes. We do have a pretty nice selection of mattes. We have a white, we have a black, we have these beautiful neutrals with like this purpley shade. And then we have beautiful, beautiful shimmers in several different formulas. So I'm just gonna slap on my primer first. I'm gonna start with this shade right here. This one's really, really beautiful and it's sparkly and I love it. So I'm gonna pick that up on my brush and I'm gonna spray my brush with a little setting spray. I'm just gonna put the shade right here, kind of on my lid all the way up into the crease and blend even above my crease because I, I just want this to be there. Like I want you to be able to see it. So don't be afraid to take your shimmers up higher if you want to like you do what you want to do it's your face and i think it's super pretty all of the brushes that i'm using are from sigma so those will be in the description box too next i'm going to go in with this warm pretty brown color kind of this mid-tone shade and i'm going to just put that on the outer part of my lid right out here just meeting it up with that shimmer. Definitely go in with your shimmer second if you don't wanna get it into your matte, but I do. I kind of don't mind if I get a little sparkle in my matte. So I'm gonna blend it right up to the edge and then I'm just going to blend and buff this shade outwards. I think that's so pretty. I wanna use a little bit of this brick red color right up here. I just wanna put this underneath my lower lash line. So I'm gonna press it on first. And then once I get it pressed on, I'll just lightly kind of buff and blend back and forth like this, just to kind of fade it out. I cleaned up all my brushes on my Sigma Switch so I can use them again. And I wanna go in with this pinky sparkly color right here on the inner corner, just for a little pop, a little highlight right there. And then I wanna add another shimmer because I'm loving how kind of like 
shimmer heavy this is. I want to go in with this shade right here. It's a very smooth shimmer. This is almost more of a metallic and I'm not going to spray my brush because I don't want any extra intensity, nothing like that. I'm just going to put it on the lower lash line, but on the inner part. So I'm not going to take it to the outer half of the lower lash line, just right in here. And that will be it for the eye look. I put on mascara and I also went in with a little bit of this Revlon like red coppery eyeliner on my lower waterline to emphasize the shadow there. I'll link it down below, but let's do lips. I bought a bunch of like lip stains. <laughs> These were so cute I couldn't resist. I originally brought, bought this little like strawberry set and then I just thought it was so adorable when it came in that I decided to buy the grape, the avocado. And today we're going to use the peach. So look at this. Let, let, let me show you what the inside looks like. It looks the same on all of these, just like different variations of lip stains, lip tints. I see sometimes these are described as like liquid lipsticks that tint and last long, but they're their lip stains. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the peach set. They're pretty similar, but these were just adorable. So we're gonna use the first one from the peach set. They're tiny, like you see how tiny this is. And I'm gonna put this on because it does give a beautiful stain. And with lip stains, I usually like to put them on, let them set for a few minutes, and then I'll usually go in with another layer and that seems to make them last a long time for me. So for the look we have going on today, I didn't want to do like a bright stain or one that's really intense. So that's why I'm grabbing this peach set so I can go in with kind of this warm nude shade. This is one layer. I'm going to pick out a lip liner. I talked about these lip liners in my other Amazon video, but it's a 54 pack and I bought these back at the beginning of the year when I did a like testing unknown brands on Amazon type of makeup video. <laughs> and this was something that I found myself reaching for a ton. And I want to find something that's going to kind of go with this that we have on today. I pulled a couple and I want to see kind of Maybe here on my hand, I can swatch and see like what I want to pair with this. So this one's like deeper and more like, I don't know, like a deeper kind of red. So it would bring out something we have going on in the eyes. Maybe that one. Let me look at this one. This one's not quite as deep, I don't think. Here, we'll swatch it kind of right there. This one is maybe like a little more brown. So that could be super pretty they're not super different but this one is a little more brown in tone and then this one we'll swatch right here i think this is going to be the winner this one is definitely more brown and a little more what i'm going for to kind of offset the eyes and complement them this is l11 i'm going to just outline but I'm also going to just fill in a little bit in the outer corners of my lips. And then I'll grab my lip stain again. And I'm just going to add another layer. Smell fruity. If I think about peach, I'm like, oh yeah, it's peach. But it's kind of just overall like a, a fruity type of scent. That is looking so cute, I think. Now I'm going to sandwich my highlighter. I'm going to spray my face with setting spray. And then I'm going to put on highlighter and then I'm going to spray my face with setting spray again. And I am really enjoying the Tear Tear Mask Fit setting spray. I haven't been using it long enough to like give you my full review because I definitely want to test it longer. But I have really been enjoying it. I'm grabbing another brush from my Angie Hot and Flashy BK Beauty set. And I saw that this glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills on Amazon Prime, I thought that was amazing. So I, I had fun kind of shopping my stash too for some of these things that are on sale, plus using products that I'm new to and testing from Amazon. It was a good time for me, but I'm gonna highlight. Now that Revlon blush is not really showing up and that's okay. I'm gonna take just a little bit of bronzed and tourmaline from our palette and put these kind of in the back of my cheek area like this to give me some dimension 
and we are gonna spray our face again. All right, y'all, here is our finished look. I will link to everything down below, including my earrings, my shirt, and I just hope that y'all enjoyed hearing about these deals and getting ready with me because I really enjoyed shopping my stash, using some new products, and I just really am loving my makeup. If you love makeup as much as me, stick around because I have so many different videos about makeup on my channel, reviewing makeup, applying makeup, eye looks, full face tutorials, everything you can think of. I love chatting about makeup. I can and do all day. 